Hey YouTube, today I'm showing you my EG4 3KW all-in-one inverter that I got from Signature Solar. I'm also running that with an EG4 Life Power 4 battery. Um, system I got coming in, I got it coming in from outside with 10 gauge wire. Got a breaker, solar wire goes in, connects to the uh, panel. Here I have my grid power. This is supplied by a 30 amp uh, 110 volt. That comes in and charges the battery uh, in the event that there is no solar. Um, this here is an output coming out of my inverter. This goes outside. I'll show you what I got out there. There's going to be a set of plugs out there, and I run 310 volt 12K uh, mini splits. And I use that to heat and cool my house. So basically, this has been running for about two months now, and uh, on average, I have got about 23 to 25 kilowatts a day. I know this is the heat of the summer and I'm in South Florida, so uh, it's higher than usual. But uh, on average so far, I mean, this has been doing really well for me. Um, first of all, sorry about the mess here. We got affected pretty hard by Hurricane Ian and we're still doing a lot of repairs here. Um, that's one of the reasons I got into this. I had a uh, solar system at my off-grid storage container and after the storm, really started relying on it so i mean i really do like this system there is uh, only one thing i can say that is a downside a little bit it is a little loud on the fans i don't know if you can hear it not a big deal because it's in the closet but it is something to worry about if you had uh, it out in the open so uh, besides that i mean this thing is just a nice workhorse plugged in the simple communication cable to the battery the wireless cable and then one plug to each battery and this thing has not had to be touched or used uh, since. It's just been a really good system. Here, let me walk outside and I'll show you what else I got. Here are the panels. REC brand 325 watt panels. I've got nine of them set up. Wire goes there goes across it runs this mini split so I run three of these Daizuki mini splits these are uh, 1200 uh, BTU or 12,000 BTU uh, 110 volt I want to say they're 20 sear or 21 sear I'll, I'll put that in the listings um, I run these things, this cable coming down, that supplies my solar panels, goes to those nine panels out back, goes inside. Here we have grid power. This was the uh, power that's needed for two 15 amp breakers uh, off of 130 amp supplying it. This is run with 10 gauge wire that is to supply the requirements for code for the air conditioners. Below this, this comes out here. This is my output from my inverter. Uh, comes out of here, goes into a plug. I just use this three-way plug because they all have built-in GFIs. So I plug, going from here, I plug all three of my air conditioners into this. And that's the outside. I take that box, I put it in that, I take that plug, I leave it in that battery box underneath my dog door entrance. Here's what the app interface on the phone looks like. As you can see right now, it's uh, 11 o'clock in the morning. I'm already pulling in almost uh, 2,000 watts of power. Uh, it's using uh, 948 watts to charge the battery, and the air conditioners currently are using 9 926 watts. I did some basic math. Basically, I've had this thing running um, for about a month and a half now. Uh, this system has been generating. It is the summer, and I'm here in South Florida on Pine Island, so we do have long, sunny days. But on average, I've been generating anywhere between 15 and up to 25 kilowatts of power a day. So I was doing my math off of 15 kilowatts a day. At 15 kilowatts a day, I pay the power company here on Pine Island 0.145 cents per kilowatt. Um, that means if I just generate the 15 a day, I'm making $2.17 in power. Multiply that by 365 days. 
I'm saving seven hundred ninety-three dollars and eighty-five cent, eighty-seven cents. That's sixty-six dollars a month. My system here, the three uh, EG4 inverter is about six hundred and seventy-five bucks. The battery's fourteen hundred bucks. If you got ten of the panels from Signature Solar, like the Hyundai's or something, they're about one hundred and ten bucks each. That gives you a total of about thirty-one hundred and seventy-five dollars. If we're making sixty-five a month and we divide that, we're paying off our system in just about 48 months. Uh, this system is warranted for 10 years on the battery and the panels are even longer. So you figure after four years, you're starting to be positive every single day. So instead of looking at it as an investment, the way I look at it is all I did was I pre-purchased power. Instead of buying it from the power company, I bought um, from Signature Solar and I'm using that in conjunction with my home system. So I hope this helped you guys out. Uh, just showing you a different alternative for some solar that I'm using here. Check out my other videos and leave some uh, comments if you guys have any questions or comments. Thanks.